By Sithis, this ends now! Back away, fool! Whatever you've been planning is over! Are you alright? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor! spoke only to the night mother i spoke to the night mother but she didn't speak to me oh no she spoke only to her to the listener what the listener what are you going on about what is this lunacy it's true it's true the night mother has spoken the silence has been broken the listener has been chosen When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. You are the listener. I have served Mother well. I have. <laughs> ah! Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen. <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost... Maddening. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. Death is but the time to sleep forever in the void. Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. Walk always in the shadow of Sithis. S still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. He 
He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Happy hunting. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Please, not now. We'll know when I'm ready to discuss the issue.
You're not supposed to be here. This is the last time I'll say it. Get out. Get away from me. Guards, trespasser. I'm warning you. Back off. Oh! 